Individuals involved in the real estate market, agriculture, and small businesses, among others, are set to tap into numerous opportunities as vast swaths of lands will become available with the advent of the new Great Diamond Mocker Roadway. Commissioned by His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali on Monday, the roadway promises to not just ease traffic congestion, but to serve as a stimulus for economic growth. This area will be a reservoir for job creation also. We will have uh, more than three, four hundred acres of land developed specifically for industrial development and then we have commercial development. And they, from the type of proposals that we have already received, um, you will have hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of jobs created along the corridor of this road. The government's vision for this flagship project is similar to that of other major roadworks on the East Bank Corridor and further afield. The Mandela Echoes Highway is already making untapped lands available for new housing and commercial zones that will be prime spots for investment. Works have progressed rapidly to clear lands from Eccles to Diamond. Citizens can also expect the extension of the road network on the East Bank Corridor to make their commute much easier to the capital, west of the Damarara River, and to the east coast of Damarara. The lengthy traffic jams on the East Bank Highway are worrisome for commuters and businesses as crucial productivity hours are lost. With approximately 58,000 people living on the East Bank Corridor and much more traveling along the route from other parts of the country, these flagship projects of the government are viewed as very important and necessary. Many commuters flock to social media to give positive reviews on the completed Great Diamond Mocha Road project. DPI engaged some persons on the new road to gather their views. I've been here for the first time, but I'm really happy um, for this. Uh, it's a lot of congestion, as, as we all know. So I'll, I'll see how it goes. It's awesome. I'm always excited because I've been using it a little bit, but up to the border. But it's good. I'm happy because it will really ease the stress out there. Well, I, I, I think it's a good idea that we have a road here, and I think that they do the right thing. I like the vision. And we thank God it will last you forever and it will have more road like this. I, re I feel great about it because the traffic is be a hell of a headache. You know, and I'm just glad that the commission wrote so that it make life easy for whoever living up on this one side. Very soon, the Ogle Eccles Bypass Road will provide yet another alternative route for travel and also pave the way for more jobs and economic growth as businesses will set up shop along the route. The construction of two five-star hotels at Ogle will see at least 300 persons employed during the building phase. These projects will be linked via the new Demerara River crossing to a thoroughfare that will catapult the transformation of Region 3. This four-lane highway will span 12 miles from the bridge to Parika. Like its sister projects, this highway will relieve traffic woes and unlock opportunities for sustainable housing, agriculture, tourism, and other businesses. In keeping with the administration's manifesto promise, citizens can expect the continued development of Guyana's infrastructural landscape, which promises to transform the way we travel and conduct business.